What is going on everybody, this is Stingy from Stingy Designs and I'm here with the second part of the tutorial on how to make a DeviantArt portfolio and today I'm going to show you how to make this cover page here so this is your um, I guess your opening page to your portfolio, yours might look a little bit different if you've made one already but I'm going to show you how to make a real basic one today like this and I'm also going to show you how to uh, add some more, in more depth your information to your um, about me section if I get time so we're gonna kick it off with this so we're gonna be using Photoshop for this and Cinema 4D as well but I'm not gonna be using Cinema 4D because I've already got my renders saved out but if you would like a tutorial on that then get this video 20 likes and I will do a tutorial on that. So open up Photoshop and you want to go File and New when my computer loads. There we go. And you want your width to be at 1280 and your height 720 and you want those to be pixels. Uh, resolution 72 and your background contents you want to be transparent. And just hit OK and this will make a new, I guess, um, screen. So once we've got this, we're going to make our basic uh, box shape. So to do this, we're going to come over to our rectangle tool down here and click and hold and you want to go to rounded edge rectangle tool. And the radius, you really just play around with it to what suits. Um, what I'm going to do is do it at 0.7 uh, centimeters. So it gives us a bit of a nice edge, but nothing too dramatic. So we're going to just drag out our box, it doesn't have to be perfectly aligned at this point in time, but try and get it as good as you can. So once we've got that, then we can go Command T and position our box. This doesn't really matter, but try and make it as close to the edge as you can, but you don't want it hanging off the edge or the final product won't look too good. Now we want to right click on our layer and go Rasterize Layer. So now we've got our basic background shape, we can now go and add some layer styles. So we're going to double click and go to drop shadow, change the angle to 90 and you want to put the blend mode to normal and then just drop the opacity down a little bit. And you can also change the colour to a, lighter, a bit of a lighter um, black. And the distance, we just want to leave the distance at 4. And the size, we can put the size at 5. Next, we're going to add a uh, gradient overlay. So add that on. Then you want your scale up to 150. And your blend mode, we can put an overlay. And not overlay, sorry soft light for the um, blend for the color over, uh, gradient overlay sorry and once we've done that we're gonna add a um, make sure your angles at 90 as well we're gonna make a new color overlay and we're gonna put this to a bit of a, a, a darkish gray and we want to change the blend mode to overlay and then drop the opacity on that Come back to your gradient overlay and we can just play around with this for a bit and see what looks the best. So we might go to double click on our gradient and change this color here to a darker gray and then this color at the top to a lighter gray. And from there we can just play around with our angle and drop the opacity perhaps a little bit and like so. So there we've got our basic um, outline. We can now probably add a stroke around the outside and change the color to a light gray. And the size you want at one and the position is outside and the blend mode, we're gonna change that to overlay. And then we're just gonna drop the opacity down a bit because we don't want this to be too dominant so I'd say about there is good, uh, about 20. 
So we can hit OK on that, and that's our basic background shape. Now we can add some text. So we're going to come over to our text tool and do some text, put some nice text on our thing. So we'll just do stingy designs for now, and I'm going to do that all in capitals. Now the font I like to use is a font called Gotham. Uh, it just looks really professional and you can really use it for anything so uh, I'm going to use that. Now we're just going to dra drag some rulers into the middle to create our middle point I guess so we know where everything can go. If you don't have rulers click command R or control R and that will bring up your ruler panel and then they should just lock into place in the middle. So now we're going to grab our text and bring that perhaps increase the size a bit and just make sure that's right dead center of your canvas. So we're going to add a layer style on this really quickly so double click and go drop shadow and we'll put the opacity to 100% and change that to a, a medium grey and the distance we can put at 2 and the size we'll put at six or we'll put the size at three. So once we've done that we're going to add a gradient overlay and scale all the way up and we can just perhaps um, mess around with the color settings here so we might go a um, We'll go a sort of medium grey to a white and that is looking pretty professional if you ask me so we might just add a quick uh, stroke around the outside so this time you want to change it to a very light grey almost a white and the fill type you want to put a gradient and gradient angle you want to be at 90 sorry negative 90 and we are going to now change the size to 1 and the opacity down to about 40 and then click reverse to bring the gradient to the top of the text okay so we can hit OK on that so that's our first layer style now we can add in our logo, so if you have a logo you can go file, place, Let's see what we're going for for time, 7 minutes, that's not too bad. I'm going to bring in my, um, what logo am I going to use, I will bring in my, I'll bring in my graffiti logo just for the sake of this tutorial. So if you've got your logo rendered in Cinema 4D, you can bring that in and then resize it down and place it where you want it roughly in the middle uh, would work best I believe so we're just gonna use our control and our arrow keys to position our text in the center of our text so now we're gonna add a quick just a really quickly put some layer styles on this we're just gonna do a gradient overlay change that to overlay and drop the opacity a bit, a bit of drop shadow just to add a bit of an effect so we want the angle at 90, the distance we can put at 10 and the size we can put at 9. So there we go that's our text in there really basically uh, now we can just duplicate our Stingy Designs text layer and bring that down to the bottom by holding um, Command T, bringing that down to the bottom, and we can change this to um, graphic design. There we go. So now we can just resize this and position this where we want it. So you don't want this too big, but it's honestly just personal preference. So we can put that, say, there. And we can put a price list here maybe, so I'll just quickly whip up a little price list. This is not my prices, so don't ask. <laughs> um, 
this is just an example so we could do a price list for there and then um, four dollars So there's our little price list. Uh, once we've got that, we can just command T that and drop the sizing down because you don't want this to be too dominant. Uh, so something like that would work really well. And we might just get this bottom text here and get rid of that. So control C to copy and then delete. And we'll have to make a new layer. So right click duplicate layer or Command J for short. And now we can change this. So it's on the same layer styles and looks just as good as the top one. So this is really just an example of what you can do with your portfolio. You can make it look really creative if you put a bit of time into it. Um, this is just a really basic example just to get some layer styles down for you guys. Uh, so we might now duplicate our um, logo and pull that behind, just enlarge the size and go like so, drag this in and we can rotate it a bit. Now that looks pretty bad at the moment so we're just going to drop the opacity to about I guess five between 5 and 10 percent, that sort of gives the best effect. So this is pretty much it. We might just add one more thing on the top. So we want to go to a new layer, grab our pen tool, and click on one of the bottom corners, and then the opposite corner, and just drag. And then you want to fill in the path, like so, then right click, uh, fill path, and the color want to be white. Now right click and delete path. Now we can just resize this in case we made any errors, like I did, and just really just play around with this, and I like it going from one corner to the other, that looks really professional and adds a bit of depth to the whole piece. So now on this one we want to drop the opacity to somewhere that's suitable, so I would say anywhere between 2 and probably 6. So I'm going to go with 2 for now. And that is basically a really simple version of a portfolio cover. So I'm just going to quickly show you how to save it if I've got time. I uh, will quickly do this. So file, save for web and devices. You want to click save and then choose where you want to save it. So I'll just save it to my desktop. Then you want to come over to your portfolio and edit, go to the edit page of your portfolio and once you're there you can click edit and on the first page right down the bottom you should see home page image so we're going to click change image if you already have one click add file and quickly add your file in there and that will upload shouldn't take too long depending on how many layers you have and once that's there we can click OK once it's finished processing there we go so we click OK on that and then click done and now we'll just view it and see what it looks like it's loading <laughs> so there we go that's a really basic uh, portfolio cover it's nothing fantastic, but it does look quite nice and professional. Um, once, If you put a little bit more time and effort into it, you can really get a good result out of it. Anyway, guys, uh, I'll leave this uh, download PSD in the description when I get 25 likes. And also be expecting a layer styles, sorry, not a layer styles pack, my... Um, uh, Cinema 4D material pack will be give. I'll be giving that out on Easter Sunday, so stay tuned for that, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. This has been Stingy from Stingy Designs, and I'm out. Peace.